maybe let's not talk about Liz Truss for the time being, because we suspect, uh, I guess, that that will rumble on. Can we just go back to the top of the programme and all those people who are really, really, really worried about how they're going to get through this winter? We're expecting spending cuts. Have you got any insight as to what could be cut and what won't be cut? So I interviewed Jeremy Hunt, new Chancellor, yesterday, and when he said all options for saving money are on the table, he's speaking the truth, OK? Um, and it's not just one of those things that you say, as he did say to me yesterday, that mm. they may not uprate the state pension by inflation and they may not uprate benefits by inflation because there is still a very big hole in the public finances. Um, they reversed 32 billion of it with that incredibly humiliating U-turn, but there's somewhere between 30 to 40 billion pounds of additional money they have to save, which is an enormous amount of money. Now, um, we've just seen in Dan's piece the human cost of not helping people on lowest incomes by uprating pensions and benefits by the rate of inflation, which we'll get tomorrow. Tomorrow's uh, inflation rate, probably 10%, is the benchmark mm -hmm. that, that, that would be used for the uprating. And here's, I think, the big politics which people are missing mm. right now. The Prime Minister said yesterday, I fixed the problem by doing all these U-turns. She hasn't. The reason that that deficit is so big mm. is because markets have pushed up interest rates for the UK, for the UK government. And although some of that interest rate has come down, not all of it has. And that means that the amount that the government has to spend on interest over the coming years has gone up, and that means they have to make cuts elsewhere. So that catastrophic mm. mini-budget mistake is having a real effect on everybody. And if you're on lowest incomes, it's having the biggest effect, even if they don't, mm. in the end, cut the real value of universal credit and pensions. We should be under no illusion that those on lowest incomes are most dependent on public services and those public services will be squeezed.